Biologist Hunter Award coming to you on Tuesday, February 22nd. We've got some rain that is uh, kind of intermittently moving into the area and I uh, apologize for my lack of update on uh, this coming forward. We've had uh, a couple personnel changes around uh, my business and taking two weeks off it's a little bit difficult coming back and uh, you know get caught up still not caught up not sure when I'll get caught up but I uh, wanted to go ahead and just let you guys know about the little bit of rain that's going to be coming through some of the models showed several inches a couple days ago but uh, you know as we move forward the models have dropped significantly off into under a half inch of rainfall for most of western North Carolina there's higher elevation locations 3,500 feet and above along the Tennessee North Carolina border could get in on an inch to two inches of rain uh, maybe some isolated higher totals than that but it's really just seems to be uh, straining out uh, on the border and that down sloping uh, drying out of the air as it moves downwards there's just a drying effect that naturally occurs that's what's that's what's happening uh, as we uh, turn around to my screen I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services CP Cruise and Company and time to travel Red Wolf can get all your roofing services done CP Cruise is the tax accounting specialist now's the time to call those gals and uh, time to travel if you're looking to take that trip give those girls a shout they will take care of you so 54 around Asheville right now maybe a little bit different at your house or when this uploads 8 30 around my time right now a dreary day looking at the Grimes Tice Anderson camera roads are wet we've had a little bit of a shower move through this morning banner elk.com live camera uh, just above banner elk in the clouds this morning around 4500 feet and then looking around the area, checking out the Henco Repro Graphics camera here in Candler. Got a beautiful view, Mount Pisgah in the clouds as well. Looks like that ceiling is right around 4,500 feet or just below that, right around 4,000 feet. TJ Hooper Nationwide Brevard camera. Streets are wet out in Brevard. Cabbage Rose Maggie Valley camera as well. You can see roads are wet all around the area blaylock excavation waynesville camera really pretty views on this camera because it just kind of sits up above everything and uh beautiful clouds and uh, the sun kind of peeking in as well let's check out better homes and garden real estate canton camera as well beautiful view right there of the intersection that you know pretty little brickwork you know all along canton and Bryson City here. Oh yeah, we got the we got the uh, Lynn Freeman Bush Hendersonville camera back up as well. So good to go. We'll add another couple cameras here coming shortly. Uh, but uh, got to get some internet issues fixed with those. Let's talk about what the radar shows here. Moving forward, you can see you know Tennessee getting significant rain from this low pressure that's kind of forcing this in, but. Downsloping is occurring all along the North Carolina Tennessee border. We're not really seeing those, uh, you know, showers make it into Western North Carolina. They're just kind of hitting those border, those high elevation border locations, and then, uh, you know, kind of pushing forward into Western North Carolina. Just a little bit of intermittent shower, and uh, then. As we progress through the day, similar situations are going to occur. Let's kind of look at the models here. I'll show you the HRRR model. Put it in forecast loop. And so let's run this out. So you can see, you know, really there's going to be a line of storms that develops, and that's going to finally be what pushes it through to western North Carolina. But I just think very scattered showers today tuesday and then early tomorrow morning we'll get a line that kind of develops and kind of sits over western north carolina but it should be out of here by 9 or 10 a.m and uh work around the area should be able to continue if you work outside uh you know a few scattered showers look to develop behind there but nothing that <clears throat> should ruin the day um you know We'll look at let's look at the uh, the NAM 3KM as well because it has a similar solution, but uh, you know 
of course, a little bit different. So here it does show those intermittent showers this morning that are showing up on the radar. Clears that out, though, today, and uh, it ends up being a nice day, looks like, you know, with just very few scattered showers. But then as you progress, let me try to move this down just a little bit, into Wednesday, it's a little bit later with the showers and uh, kind of lingers them around. So I guess we'll see. You know, the HRR model tends to do a little bit better right here, um, but we'll see if those showers do hang around till 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow. And then uh, we've got another front <clears throat> that'll be pushing through, just, you know, kind of weak shower activity, you know, but nothing too overwhelming. If you look at the precips on this, I'll show you total QPF, which is total precipitation. I'll show you around town. I mean, you know, 0.2 inches or so, nothing too significant. You know, some of those isolated higher elevation locations are going to rake those totals in because there's no downsloping, kind of moisture just funnels there. And so, you know, but you can see around town, you know, really low rainfall totals, less than a quarter of an inch around western North Carolina. So I don't think this is going to be too big of an event. Uh, moving forward, uh, I, I think that the next thing that – uh, kind of look and focus on will be our uh, our Sunday Saturday night into Sunday time frame Saturday into Sunday um, looking at that showing you guys the precepts going out you can see that <clears throat> the GFS model showing the chance for a little bit of snow Saturday night and into Sunday around western North Carolina so a uh, you know a difficult forecast here I don't want you know there's a, there's a slight chance the atmosphere could produce a little bit of snow but you know right now it doesn't look like anything too significant I'm trying to get it stopped on that and then we'll pull down you can see chance for light snow looking at these soundings all right so this is the devils in the details well this model is shown as a frozen column all the way down with a good with a lot of moisture it's a little warm right there at the surface, but I think that snow will still fall through that. So I guess that's something to monitor here. You know, we're four or five days out, so no, take, take this with a grain of salt. The models were showing a couple inches of rainfall four or five days out from, you know, today and tomorrow. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. We'll watch this. I'll do some other videos on it, and uh, we'll, we'll continue to keep an eye on it moving forward. But... Just uh, take this with a grain of salt. The European model is showing a similar solution. I'll pull that up for you here as well. And here you can see European model more so for the, uh, let's see. So Friday and into Saturday, it showed more in eastern Tennessee and a little bit warmer column of air. So this is about the same time frame. We'll show you that sounding frozen column down to about 3,500 feet and then a warm nose right there around 3,500 feet. And then some, that's a weird sounding. So, you know, lots of, lot to figure out here with the models and uh, moving forward. So I'll keep an eye on it. Looking at the uh, the European ensemble, <clears throat> you can see several members do have the chance for snowfall here. But uh, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. This is uh, really one of those one of those calls that's tough to make and uh, you know, not gonna put any type of you know stock in any forecast moving into the first of March you know, four and five days out. So we'll really try to hone in. There's there's a slight snow signal on the models uh, with a weak low moving through with some gulf interaction, but, you know, it's taking an upper level low to capture it, and that's, you know, kind of where the snowfall's coming from. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that moving forward, but main thing to focus on with uh, this update is uh, drier conditions than uh, what we're 
you know, we, we were initially seeing on models here uh, the last couple days, but looks like we're going to escape without too much rainfall, maybe uh, less than a half inch for most of you in your backyard. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you guys have a great day. Check back soon for more information. Thanks.